Got the Gorilla Gloves on. We're ready to grip some fish. All right, welcome back to the channel. Jason here with Strike 3 Fishing. We're going to do a little fall time bassing here on a local lake around Mark Twain Lake, a little smaller lake. There's a look at it. It goes all the way back in there. Nice little lake. It's got some nice bass in it, got some nice crappie in it. So, anyway, uh, we're going to get spinnerbait, square bill, maybe some top water out. It's cloudy. 43 degrees, about a uh, 10 to 20 mile an hour north wind and north northwest wind. So I killed my deer October 15th. Today's October 18th, so I don't have a buck tag till November 14th when the rifle season starts. So uh, what better way to do some fall time fishing? We're like I said, we're gonna throw spinnerbait, square bill, and probably some top water and see what happens. Another thing I like about these cloudy, colder days. I'm the only truck in the parking lot. Here we go. We'll put the trolling motor down and uh, we're gonna go against the wind, obviously. We're gonna try to spinner bait. This happens to be a uh, half ounce Mark Twain Lure Company. Spinnerbait. I also use the E-Factor spinnerbaits. I really like them as well. So I'm going to use uh, that's that's the two spinnerbaits I use. This is the Mark Twain Lure Company one, and uh, the Me Factor ones are pretty good as well. So we're going to go over here. We're going to fish this little bank here. It's a little deeper right in here, and uh, fish down to here. And then we're going to shoot across and fish that bank here. Uh, About six foot of water right now. We're just gonna fish this around and see if we can what we can come up with. There's one right there on spinner bait. There we go. We go. Small one. He's right up there on the bank. And we got uh, 56 degree water. So. There we go. Let's go get another one. See if we can get a little bigger one. Lake of the Ozarks next weekend. Hell, I had to stop and fish this brush pile real quick for some crappie. There's just a bunch of crappie on there, and I'm just gonna see how big they are. And that one's little. And we're gonna get back to bass fishing. We interrupt this regular scheduled program for a little live scope crappie action. See if they're gonna be hungry. Here's one coming. There's one right there. They're all little. <laughs> Fun to catch though. Here we 
they're in the eating mood. Thought that one looked like a little bigger one on the live scope. There's one. Boom, a little one. <laughs> a couple more drops, we'll get back to bass fishing. I think these are all a little crappie. I just wanted to stop and try them out. since I've caught some crappie. I got a couple other couple other brush piles we can hit. Maybe I'm before we're done today. So well we're on our way to another bank to throw a spinner bait and uh we came across this brush pile right here. It's got some crappie on it. A little dink. Decent one. There's one right there. A little bitty one. Ah, oh, they're fun to catch Sunday afternoon. Better than sitting inside. Good one coming to it. There's one. Oh. Little one ate it. Let's go see. Get that one right there, see if he wants to bite.
There's one. Drop right down to him. Bunch of dinks. We're gonna have a crappie video after all, but they ain't gonna be very big. A lot of little fish in this lake, I think, crappie wise. I use that braided line on this uh, brush piles because you can just pop it right out. I'm telling you what, these thumper pill head jig heads are tough. They got a great hook. You know, if they get bent a little bit, just bend it back with your finger or a pair of pliers or something. looking at it right in there but I'm afraid they're all little but you know it's fall time get on these brush piles if you can find them all right we're on some new brush piles here loaded with crappie as you can see right there but I don't know how big they are <laughs> dink Dink. Not very big. All right, we're back with a spinner bait down this bank. Got a little wind on it, and uh, there's one right there. big one. Here we go. We just need some big ones to play. Well, that's going to wrap up this little episode here at Route J Lake. Uh, caught a few little crappie and two bass. So, you know, we got out. We had a good time doing it. And, you know, all these crappie that I caught were little. Uh, they were all on brush piles, but they were all little. Usually this time of year, them big crop, you're going to be on that brush. You know, I fished, uh, what, five or six different brush piles on the lake, and, and all I could catch was them seven, eight inches. But... So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Strike 3 Fishing. I appreciate everybody that, that has subscribed. Anyway, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can get notified when I put new content out. And I know we're getting into the winter months, the fall and the winter months here, and I'm still gonna try to do as much fishing as I can. You know, as long as I can get out with my boat, I'm gonna try to get out and get you some fishing content the rest of the fall and the winter. So anyway, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care of yourself and uh, happy fishing.